Gary, another disappointing afternoon. Deja vu, really, Sandra, for Tuesday night. Good first half performance, nothing in the game. Uh, we go in on level terms. Today we speak to the players and say, look, let's make sure we learn for Tuesday night. We never started in the second half and by 50 minutes of Tuesday night the game was over. And you're telling the players that and you're telling them, they're all saying, yeah, yeah, let's learn for that. You know, we're well in the game. And then 50 minutes later today, it's the same situation or 20 minutes, 3-1. And you're always got to struggle. You know, even the second goal is bad enough. But if you're, you're still in the game at 2-1. When it goes to 3-1 against teams like Dundee United and St Mirren, very rarely are you going to come back. And uh, after the goal, you know, the rest of the second half was quite comfortable for, for St Mirren today. Shooting themselves in the foot, really, aren't well, they? Well, yeah, if, uh, I've just quickly come to it. That's three goals from our throw-ins on the left-hand side of the pitch that 10 seconds later, the ball, or 15 seconds later, the ball's ended up in the back of their net. That can't happen. We're set up properly at throw-ins but we're making wrong decisions of where we're throwing the ball, people going for the ball when they shouldn't go for it, wrong decisions when it goes back to the thrower, and teams are breaking us and scoring against us, and it's very frustrating. Now, I'm not saying we deserve to win the game today, but what I'm saying is the, two, the last two games especially, we've played really well in the first half, and I feel that we've beat ourselves rather than the teams have beat us in the second half. I don't think teams are having to work hard enough for their goals. Whereas when you look at our goal, it was a really, really good goal today. We had to work really hard, pass the ball through the pitch, an overlap, and Marsh finishes it well. Good flick for John Rankin. We're having to work hard to score against teams, but teams are only having to work hard to score against us. And I've said that to the players, not on a rant and a raid. You've got to stand up and be counted when you're on the pitch. And, and just now, at t crucial times in the game, we're making too many mistakes that are costing teams goals. And on top of that, when teams are getting on top of us, we're giving away far too many fouls. And when you give away fouls like that, and you've got the delivery like that St Mirren have got, you're going to be in trouble. And if it wasn't for Jack, we'd have lost another couple of goals. So we're only making things easy for ourselves. And the longer that we keep making these mistakes and not picking up points, the more and more difficult it's going to be to try and get into the playoffs. The goal from Jordan was... That's Fantastic, great finish for Jordan um, I think in open play he played quite well actually I need to speak to him about his throwings and, and work on that well Because he's, he's making a few wrong choices of where he's throwing the ball and what he's trying to do So I need to work with him on that You know, you let him away with last, the game the other day But you know, the two have came for there again So I need to just speak to Jordan and, and try and help him with that um, But he played, I thought he played well He tried to get forward I think he's over his injury now And it was a really good team goal and it finished with a great finish for Jordan and that got us back into the game and we were pressing and we were on the front foot and it was good but it, what we're doing is we're knocking the wind out of our own sails really we're conceding early at the start of the second half and it's knocking us and before we can regroup we've conceded again and, and as I say when you lose two goals in quick succession it's very very difficult to come back from as you say, it's a big blow to finishing that top four finish. Yeah, it's, it's got to be difficult. Listen, we're under, it's got to be difficult anyway, but we're under no illusions. You know, we've lost two two games um, for the difficult week, but we needed to try and pick up more than three points out of the nine, you know, albeit we're playing Dundee United and St Mirren. And I actually think our first half performances probably merited us getting something out of the games. But if you don't concentrate, I would say, maybe not, you can't always play well for 90 minutes. But if you don't concentrate for 90 minutes and switch on at set plays and no get away cheap fouls, it'll come back and haunt you and hurt you and that's what's happened to us in the last two games. Does Tuesday night's game at Tannadice now become a must Yeah, win? but you know, it's our fourth game in 10 days. I'll probably make a few changes to the team. You know, we need to try and freshen it up a bit. Listen, I can't. I said that to them in there. It was frustrating me because if they weren't at it or weren't they trying or that, I, I could say to them, look, what's wrong? You weren't at it. But it wasn't that the lads gave us they've worked really really hard this last week with the three games but there's more to football than just working hard and now we're only, we're only, we're only concentrating we're, we're, uh, we're lacking a wee bit of discipline uh, in terms of, of defending i.e. giving away too many fouls not doing the right things at throw-ins and people think oh, that's it. but their little things are costing us just now and, uh, and we need to stop it as I was saying, does it now become a must-win? I would never say any games must-win because I came in there and if you want, well, I wouldn't say we've got away with it, but every other team drew. So on the back of having a disappointing result, nobody really made that much pro... Nobody really caught us and nobody really got away from us. So if you want, that's sort of maybe the only the saving grace in terms of getting into the playoffs. But 
you're saying to me are you, are you to go up to Dundee United it's a must win and I think they've lost three games here in two seasons or something so it's got to be very difficult but we need to try, we, as the games are running out we need to be trying to get something out of the games well, listen we haven't set up defence in any of the last two games you know as you've said yourself the two first half performances were decent against the two probably best teams in the league or the strongest squads at least but as I've already said and I'm repeating myself and I'm repeating Tuesday night Football doesn't just last for 45 minutes, it lasts for 90 minutes and when you're under the cosh a wee bit, you have to stand up, defend properly and you can't give cheap goals away and three thrones for us and three goals for the opposition, How, that's that's not good enough and, and I've let the players know that, that that can't keep happening. You know, you kind of, you've identified the problem. So it's yeah, we work on it and, and, you know, and, and we have to hope that the players stop making the mistakes, you know, and... But it's disappointing, you know. It's this, the, you know, and Jack's disappointed with the second goal. I just want to say about that. He's disappointed. He's a, he's a he's a good young lad, and he's came in there and said it was his fault, and that's great. He should have saved the free kick, but he made another outstanding saves, and he's actually having to make too many saves just now in the games. And, and he's played maybe I don't know five or six games in the bounce recently, and he's made one mistake. So we can we can let him have that, you know. I did say he's his young boy, and he's got to make a mistake. What he's got to learn now is how does he cope with it, how does he react to it, you know, he'll be in goals again on Tuesday night, you know, there's no doubt about that, he'll be in goals, and I just say to him, look, you've got to put that behind you, you're a goalkeeper, you're going to make mistakes, and it's about how you react to it, it's part of the learning curve for him, but his save at the end for Gary McKenzie's free header was world class.